everybody. It's Andre with the Eagles Off Field Guide and just wanted to come to you with a really quick video. Uh, somebody asked about uh, how to better track referrals. And this is one of the tools that I use. Yes, I know there are a lot of different ways you can track referrals, but this is just a shortcut to track referrals that I've always used in my office. So let's just go up here. And if you don't know, if I go to person and I edit this person, there is a field here and there used to be a description there. It's gone, but it actually is called the recall notes field. And a lot, a lot of people use this for a lot of different things. What I use this for is my referrals to specialist. And I'll show you what I mean. So imagine um, I send my patients to ABC endo and that is the, refer, uh, the endodontist that I send my patients to. So I'm gonna put ABC endo. So I refer this patient to ABC Endo in order to have treatment done. And I want to track how many patients I've sent to ABC Endo. Now, I know there's other ways that you can do this. You can do this through the referral sources. I know that. But this is the way that I do it because I want to track very specific things. I sent these people to ABC Endo for very specific purposes. And I want to be able to track that. So I could have a, a bunch of different things here. So this person was ABC Endo. And then let's go over here to this patient. And this guy was actually sent to ABC Ortho. So let's just see how I would actually go about finding those patients who went to ABC Endo. So let's go to activities and go to practice management and go to my favorite tool, which is Money Finder. So activities, practice management, and Money Finder. And within Money Finder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, show me everybody who has a planned D3330. All right. And I can take a period of time. And right here, I can say that went to ABC Endo. All right. And because I haven't actually treated and planned this guy for a root canal, I'm going to take this off. But again, you can add a service code there. All right. But I can say very specifically, anybody who was referred to ABC Endo who had a particular service planned, all right? And I can even say a date range. So, you know, this month, how many people I sent out for Endo at ABC Endo? And then I hit OK and run that report. And guess who's on that report? All right. Let's see. How many people did I send to ABC Ortho for a period of time? Well, there he is, all right? It's a really, really simple way of doing that referral list without a whole lot of other steps. This is really fast, easy, and I can track more than just the referral sources and how much money that referral source has generated for me. I can actually track treatment. So I can say how many kids that I refer to endo between five and 14 years old between a period of time, and then again, run that report. So this gives you a lot of things. How many people who have an insurance status of no insurance on file, but I, I did send them to ABC endo and then a date range. All right. So you can do anything you want use, using that recall. See that says right there, recall notes field and actually put something in there. So thought that might help. It's something I've always used to track my referrals. Uh, so hopefully that helps, guys. Thanks.